Yes, the Jesus doll. He has creepy eyes, as you notice. They're little marble-like things. There's a point to, he has limited points of articulation in the neck. He has two points, one in the shoulder, shoulder, and that's it. And then he's molded into one position. God, those eyes are creepy. Hello viewers of Sounding Board. Today we're going to talk about Ideal Toys 1958 Jesus doll or Baby Jesus or Nativity Jesus, or Major Jesus. But it's from Ideal's toy line, The Most Wonderful Story. And you're kind of wondering, why would someone market a Jesus doll? Because faith was different in the country back then, for one thing. The belief systems, the, the way we looked at church, state, and everything was different. That... People liked stuff like this. They weren't on the, the, the whole mad rant that Sean King's put America on that religion is bad. Destroy all religion. In 1958, religion was good. It was, a, it was a form of hope. We looked upon it not as a bane of society, not as something offensive, but as something to inspire, to show us the way to be a better person. And so, this doll was, was a Jesus doll. Looks like a baby cherub, if you notice. It kind of looks like it's got that creepy eyes that even the, in the few videos back we talked about that Angel had from, from the 1950s. Not much is really I could find about this doll, other than there was only one on eBay, and there wasn't much to it. The doll came in a manger, or more like a little crib, with fake straw in it, a little cross here, and a gold cross here. And I'm not for sure if it was to be played with, or it was to... Uh, be a Christmas ornament that you bought and you place it either under the tree or someplace where your family can see it and pay homage to Jesus and his birthday. You know, it, it's just one of those things is there's so many questions about it. But the title of the toy was The Most Wonderful Story Ever, which tells you the thinking of 1958 about religion and Jesus. It's not something to be panned or say, oh, it's offensive, it goes against my religious beliefs. It was something that people really believed, believed in as a whole. It would unify them. But, you know, it's one of those things is you look at it, and it's made out of soft vinyl. Like the Pillbearer Doughboy, you can squeeze his stomach in um, he has only minimal amount of points of articulation. His arms. He has no head articulation. And if you notice, he, like I said earlier, he looks like a baby cherub. With very creepy eyes. So... It's one of those things is, you wonder in 1958, why did they make a Jesus stall? Was it to market a new idea to the families of America? Was it just something to put on the Christmas tree, around a Christmas tree to make people feel comfortable? It's hard to really say. Because we, a lot of the information to this toy, like the angel toy doll I spoke of, is lost. 
because because the ideal toy company doesn't exist anymore like Fields Enterprises. So, after a certain date, a lot of dolls and figures have lost their history. A lot of them haven't because of the huge fan base they have, like Mego, G.I. Joe, Barbie. And so a lot of dolls lost their histories and identities. So we don't really know much about them. But, like all, technically this is a celebrity doll too, but like all celebrity dolls, they always find a place somewhere in people's collections because people love celebrities. People love the, the ideology of these these figures, these characters, because we watch them in movies and stuff and books and literature. So until next time, this is The Sounding Board, signing off.